Well, Liam, tough to defend a total like 158, but you weren't really out of that at the end. Yeah, we weren't far off. Uh, yeah, like you say, 150 odd. Probably a couple short with the bat, but not loads. But yeah, just, just didn't come on with the with the bacon. You chose the bat today. Did it, was it a sticky wicket? It looked a bit slow and a bit too paced at times. Yeah, the choice to bat was because it was the the third use. The women played on it, then we played on it on the. It would have been Wednesday, whatever day it is now. Uh, so yeah, third use. Thought it'd start to hold and hold a bit more, which it, it did. It did hold. And we were hoping to get a score on the board and apply, apply some pressure. We were just a, a couple short. At 92 for three, they had um, Josh Cobb in the attack and Graham White. That was when you lost three wickets on 92, crucially losing Graham Clark on 44. And uh, the other dismissal as well of, of David Beddingham backing up. I mean, that's just the most awful way to get out when you're backing up and the ball smashed back to the bowler's end and the bowler manages to get a hand on it yeah it's just the statement that I, I agree with you uh, it happens once or twice in your career sometimes it yeah just just happens really that um, period with the, the three wickets on 92 struggled to recover from that really you had a good final over but probably needed about 15 more 20 more runs yeah I thought it was somewhere 10 to 15 maybe 20, 20 to push that would have been a really good score we saw the other night we got 180 had them for, for 140 somewhere around there so yeah that would have, I think another 20 would have been an exceptionally good score I think 10, another 10 to 15 would have been sort of in the in the box seat now you needed something special towards the end something like a wicket made and you nearly had it with the penultimate over from Andrew Ty as well but a, a catch went down unfortunately yeah it did it did yeah well I don't know what we would say to that it's not really anything catch went down people drop them no one means to. Happens in cricket. There's been a few substitute fielders on the field the last two matches. With what's happening behind the scenes with injuries? Is, uh, are people a bit stretched at the moment with, with aching bones and sore limbs and whatnot. I think the schedule's been been hectic. We've had lads playing Championship cricket for seven weeks on the bounce. Decent amount of dirt time with the the balls not doing as much and the pitches being a little bit flatter. So lads are probably starting to feel it a little bit more. A couple of niggles, a couple of aches, a couple of pains coming into the to the team, but. We'll keep coming out, we'll keep putting putting on a show and trying our best. Disappointing, North Hans have managed to uh, complete the double on you now this year. Yeah, yeah they have. Uh, thought this game was probably a little bit closer than, than the last one. Uh, yeah, two different two different games. Quite a high scoring event at their at their place and here sort of a, a, more, a sort of lower scoring game on a on a sticky pitch. And you've got two games to come this week. Uh, what, uh, it's Warwickshire on Wednesday, I think, isn't it? Lancashire on Friday too at home as well. Yeah. At home again, we're at home for a little little while now, so keep trying to put on some performances. So if we get on a bit of a roll in this competition, cricket comes thick and fast and it's going to continue to until the end of September. Just to put on me, Trevor Gordon, the captain, is it something that you're enjoying? Uh, it's, it's difficult. Um, something you've got to be sort of switched on with and pace the game in T20, sort of. One decision might might change the game, might change the game in your favour or all the other other teams' favour. So, yeah, it's, it's enjoyable. It's something new, something I haven't really done in my career in terms of even junior cricket. Not something that I was ever ever doing. So, yeah, something new, something something fresh, something to get my teeth stuck into. And is it affecting anything regarding your your bowling or your batting? Because you came in, you struck the ball so well, but you were down down the order. Is it giving you a foot for me? I should put myself higher up or? Uh, no, really. I think. Lads, people who go out to batters, that's what we think is best for the team at that exact point with, with who they're throwing at us with their bowling and what the pitch is doing. So in terms of the of the batting aspect, just got you sort of been going in when I think it's the right time for you. Uh, in terms of the bowling, can be difficult to think, oh, when, when do I bowl, when do I not bowl? Especially when you are bowling or who's bowling the next one. So it's all these things going on, but I've got players in our dressing room that are experienced, experienced players and being able to lean on them and, and chat to them is sort of benefit to me, really.